Sam Hunt off the road is Colin Hogg's backstage pass into the life of the celebrated poet and his longtime friend as well. This is also a book about solitude, love, death, self destruction, and endurance. It is packed with photos, poems, and memories, as well as conversations between mates. Thank you so much for joining us, Colin. Well, it's a pleasure. Now, before we go on, I do. You talked about packed with photos, etc. I think we should start with this one, showing you your very. Oh, I've lost it now. Where's it gone? No, I bet it's gone. There it is. Found it. Oh. Yeah, ripped it out. The very long friendship. This is you and Sam Hunt in 1989. And I said, what? Could, did you recreate that photo for this book? I sold the house. <laughs> oh, so, and, so, and so that's the reason you sold the house so you couldn't do the recreation of the photo. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's absolutely yeah. fa fantastic. I mean, you've written books about a lot of people, uh, Michael King, uh, Ian Mewn, uh, Barry Crump as well. You obviously like telling stories about people. Yeah, they seem to be men for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, I'll do a woman next. Uh, yeah, true, actually, that's a very good point. Uh, tenth book, great read. You and Sam obviously have a very close friendship. Tell us about that friendship. I knew him in the 80s, you know, because I was a music reviewer and back then music was very mixed up with dance and poetry and all sorts of things. It's, it's not quite the same now. Um, but I, I, I met him one night. It was the night my only son was born. I've got five daughters and one son, so I was sort of in shock. I was supposed to review the show. Yes. But when the word got around about the son, so many people bought me drinks I couldn't review the show. <laughs> I ended up backstage with Sam and his dog, Minstrel. And, you know, we got talking and there was something about, I remember afterwards, there was something about him that fascinated me. Right. Some sort of otherness, some apartness, some loneliness that I, I find interesting. Um, and then two or three years later, I was approached by a publisher to write a biography of him. I didn't want to write a straight biography, so I said, why don't I sign up as his road manager and I'll do the story from that point of view and that became a book called Angel Gear and that came out 30 years ago just mm. about. So this is like a bookend to that I suppose. Oh, that was on the road, this is off the road. Yep. Uh, incidentally that's probably why you haven't written many books about women because you've got five daughters. Mm. It might have something to do with Maybe it. Maybe I'll write a book about them. Surround, you should do. You yeah, should. I know you're still in trouble for not being at the son's birth. <laughs> uh, no, I was, I was at the birth. Oh, right. It's but it was a sort of oh. after. You know, oh, yeah, we're at the pub. <laughs> you know, oh, I just had a baby. <laughs> back last century, they threw you out afterwards. Yeah, true, they did. Pretty actually, much, right. and you got to celebrate, and yeah, we did not. No, well, um, so, so you joined... She was celebrating in her way. <laughs> Aching everywhere. Mm. So you joined him on the road uh, for this tour. I mean, what, what was that experience like? We had to get to know each other just to see if I could, because I didn't know what I was going to say mm. about him, you know, I didn't know how we'd get on. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of presence. Mm. You know, he's six foot five, he's ancient, he's, he's quite scary, um, he's brilliant, poems pour out of him, you know, he's not like anything else I've ever seen, really, or known. I would suspect he's one of those people where you don't know whether you are his friend or not, but you just tag along until... Well, do you wonder where you fit in? Yeah, You know, you look right. for gaps, I suppose. Yeah. But we just hit it off. And after the book came out, we just kept in touch and became friends and, you know, have been for 30 years. So how... You must have some fantastic Sam Hunt stories. They're all forgotten. Are there any There's that, we a few actually, in there. that we can actually <laughs> share on, on morning TV? Um... Oh... They're difficult, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of... It's also a sort of celebration of friendship, I suppose. Mm. I mean, I've come into the book from my point of view of him, so it's very much my journey with him to some extent. And you had some good arguments, didn't you? We fought a lot about the book. We mm. talked about doing the book for years, but we were always concerned that we'd fall out in the process, <laughs> which we did, I think, Chapter 3. Yeah. Chapter 7 and Chapter 9, <laughs> I believe. Um, yeah. But th that became part of the story, because I believe when you, you know, the moment you're told to start writing a book, it started, you know, everything mm. goes in, really. You talk about Sam Hunt being sort of otherly. He, that's, how, that's how he appears. I mean, we grew up with him always there, mm. sort of with his poems. It's mm. something, and you're right, something quite special. So, I mean, what is he like? As a friend, he's very loyal. He talks a lot. It's quite hard to get a word in sometimes. Um, he's just a magic presence, you know. He's wonderful to know. Uh, yeah, and I guess I just wanted to capture his spirit because he's very much a live performer. He's left books and books of poems, 
but they're not quite the same. I mean, you read one of his poems, if you've ever seen Sam, you'll hear his voice. You do it in his voice, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and if you go to read one of his poems out loud, you'll probably have some tragic attempt at imitating That's him. Yes, yes. Do. We've all yeah. done that. <laughs> so yeah. I just want to capture his sort of spirit in a way, I suppose, and what it was like. I, you know, I tend, I, I've said this before, but I, I think about, you know, the great Victorian actors, I wasn't around at the time, but, um, you know, afterwards people talked about how marvellous they were, but the only evidence left is a few photos and some old reviews. There's no actuality. There is some actuality of Sam, but it's still not the same. And he's, he's not doing shows anymore, so... Yeah, and is there a reason for that? Is he just trying to take a back seat at the moment? Is he, you know... Well, he's, he's 72. Right. I think he's just... He, he got very tired of the travelling. Right. He loves the shows, but... I said to him, he should, you know, he needs to become Doctor Who. He needs a TARDIS so he can just drop down, <laughs> do the show and zip, you know, because he doesn't want to go and come back. He wants to be there, but he doesn't want to... So unless New Zealand goes to the Kuiper, <laughs> this he is lives, as close. He lives quite remotely, doesn't he? Mm. What's he actually up to? Oh, he gets up, he has tea and toast, <laughs> waits for a poem to land. Sounds you like know. he's living the dream. <laughs> he lives pretty quietly, but he's, he's still writing poems, mm. or they're writing him. Mm. I think, really. Because well, you talk about in the book, you know, how solitary he can be sometimes, but also about self-destruction as well. Mm. Yeah, did you Go get... on. <laughs> <laughs> he liked to drink, didn't he? Yeah, well, so do I. Mm. Right. There's quite a lot of drinking in that book. In fact, it's quite damp. Um, <laughs> the book's based around a series. I, I, I went to see him five or six times for this book, and we sat down and basically drank. Right. And, and had a smoke or two, and talked, and <laughs> recorded it. Brilliant. So it's a series of scenes with other things built around um, in an attempt to capture his essence. And, and what, has he read the book? What does he think of it? He's read it. He reads it every day. Oh, he loves it. And what does he think of it? He, he loves it. Well, so he says, so far. <laughs> well, <laughs> Anything could happen. It's a beautiful looking book. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, beautiful read, and it's... it's Beautiful to look at as well, as much as anything else. Well, and just the two of the country's life. best together, making a book It smells it. good. And it smells <laughs> fine. It's Colin's important. book, Sam Hunt, Off the Road, is available now at all good bookshops or online stores. Yeah, it's a perfect Christmas present.